दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज सेवनटीन ए ड्रॉ अ पैलोलोग्राम ए बी सी डी इन विच ए बी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर ए डी इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर एंड एंगल बी ए डी इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी डिग्री मेजर इट्स डायगोनल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू ड्रॉ अ पैलोलोग्राम बेस्ड ऑन द फॉलोइंग डाटा देन वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द डायगोनल्स ऑफ द पैलोलोग्राम एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल मेजर द लेंथ ऑफ द डायगोनल्स so what we have to do to draw this parallelogram first we can draw a rough diagram of parallelogram so how it will look like so we will draw a parallelogram like this and in which we can say it will be a it will be b this will be c and this will be d this is rough diagram so measure of ab 6.5 cm so here you can write 6.5 ad measures 4.8 cm so ad we can measure 4.8 cm and angle bad will be 70 degree so bad will be 70 degree so here your angle will be 70 degree now we will draw its diagram so to draw the diagram to draw the parallelogram we need ruler we need a protector and we also need a compass so how we will draw first dimension is given ab is equals to 6.5 cm so take your ruler draw a line AB equals to 6.5 centimeter, so this is zero, and measure of 6.5 centimeter. Here it is 6.5, so draw a line. Now your AB is 6.5 centimeter, so this is A, this is B, and the measure of AB is 6.5 centimeter. So here I can write 6.5 centimeter. Now I have to draw AD equals to 4.8 centimeter. So what I will do? I will draw a line AD equals to 4.8 centimeter. But this line will have an angle. This line will have an angle of 70 degree. And here, somewhere at here, the point D will come. And the measure of the angle will be 70 degree. So to take uh, the measurement of angle 70 degree, we will use the protector. We will put the protector at A point. Right. Now this line, this line will make angle of zero degree. Here zero is at the inner circle, so we will take the measurement of inner circles. So from here we will start zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventy, seventy. We have to make an angle of seventy degree. Seventy in is at inner side. So here, in in front of seventy, I will draw a point. Then just join this point with A. Here we can join. Now the D point will lie somewhere on this line, and it is given that measurement of AD is 4.8 centimeter. So what we will do? We will take help of our scale, and we will take a distance of 4.8 centimeter. So just mark 1.80 and uh, mark at 4.8. This is 4, and just two lines before 5, it will be 4.8. So this is the distance of 4.8 centimeter. I have taken these two points. These uh, two point measures at the distance of 4.8 centimeter. Now we will open our compass and then set our compass so that both the points lie on same point. Now it is at 4.8 centimeter. So now put your compass at A and then cut an arc over the angle of 70 degree. Now this intersection point. This intersection point is point. D. This intersection point is point D, and the length of AD is 4.8 centimeter. So here you can write length of AD is 4.8 centimeter, and this angle BAD measures 70 degree. So here you can write that angle BAD is equals to 70 degree. Now, uh, what we can do? Uh, no other uh, information is given to us about this question. so here we can use one property of parallelogram which says that adjacent angles of parallelogram sum of adjacent angles of parallelogram is 180 degree here it is 70 degree and uh, at angle at b the adjacent angle of angle bad will be formed so the value of this angle will be 180 minus 70 is equals to 110 so here we have to draw an angle of 110 degree so again we will take help of our protector and at point b we will make an angle of 110 degree so here 
we have to put our protector on point B okay now this line will make an angle of 0 degree here 0 degree is at outer circle so we will take measurement of outer circle and here it is 70 degree so we will take uh, we will mark a point at 70 degree sorry we have to make an angle of 110 degree and 110 see here we have to make an angle of 110 degree and 110 degree at outer side is at here so we will take the point at here now this point this point will make an angle of 110 degree so i will take my scale then i will join this point with b now this angle a b and uh, somewhere on this line c point will exist so here this angle is of 110 degree now what will be the length of b b and c it will be equals to length of ad because opposite sides of parallelogram are equal to each other hence length of bc will be 4.8 cm here i have taken the distance of 4.8 cm right so at i will put the compass at b then i will take an arc at this angle of 110 degree now this point has come and the name of this point will be c and after this we can join our c with d so just put your ruler at here and join c with d so now we have joined cd you can measure that opposite sides of parallelogram are equal to each other so the measurement of this cd will be also equals to 6.5 centimeter now as per the question what we have to do we have to measure the diagonals so for this we will draw the diagonals so to draw the diagonals put your scale at a and c and join a with c okay I have joined AC now you can measure the distance of A and C so took your put your scale at C point and A point and its measurement will come uh, approximate it is 9.4 centimeter it is 9.4 centimeter long so diagonal AC measurement of diagonal AC is uh, it is 9.4 centimeter you can take the dimensions from here also you can put your scale at A then you can measure the C point and just one line before the 9.5 this point is meeting at c so that length of ac is 9.4 centimeter and what will be the length of bd so we will draw the diagonals bd also so we will put our scale at d and we'll join it with b okay then you can draw the diagonal okay so now we have drawn the diagonal bd also and let's take the measurement of BD. Kya karenge hum? We will put our scale at either B or D. You can put it. Then take the measurement. It will be equals to 6.5, 6 and 7. So it is 6.7 centimeter. So length of uh, diagonal BD is 6.7 centimeters. So the length of diagonals are AC is 9.4 centimeter and BD is 6.7 centimeter. So this is how we can uh, solve question number 2 of exercise 17a.